What's going on fellow artists? Uh, today here from lockdown, I'm gonna be talking about rotary tattoo machine strokes, what the term stroke means, and what different strokes can achieve in your tattoo procedures. But first of all, if you are new here, uh, this channel is dedicated to helping new artists out and to just pass some of my knowledge on. So please consider uh, subscribing and click the bell button so you don't miss another video and smash a gorgeous like on this video which helps support support the channel. Uh, so yeah, so if you have ever heard of the term throw, uh, normally associated with uh, rotary tattoo machines, throw and stroke are basically the same thing. Um, so what is stroke or throw? Uh, the difference between a long stroke and a short stroke is the amount of travel that the needle will go up and down or rather in and out during one complete cycle or rotation. So how far the needle moves uh, one way and then the other. Uh, the area that the bearing is located on the motor's rotation point will determine how much the needle will travel one way and then back the other. So if the bearing is located closer to the center of the motor, it will have a shorter stroke, so a shorter distance. And if it's further away from the center point, it will become longer. Um, in essence, the shorter the stroke, the softer the machine hits, and the longer the stroke, the harder it hits. So bear that in mind when doing certain techniques whilst tattooing, because if you're trying to shade soft black and gray with a four millimeter stroke, you're gonna end up chewing the skin and probably traumatizing it so much that it probably won't heal very well, especially if you don't know what to look out for, um, if you're a beginner tattooist especially. So with the advancement of technology over the last few years rotaries have become much more advanced and more tunable in that kind of respect a bit like coil machines there are now many different types of rotary machines that can lengthen and shorten the stroke by adjusting the cam on the machine like the FK Irons Zion pen rotary machine uh, the dragonfly machine or the spectra edge x which I currently use, um, which is a very popular machine amongst others available on the market. So you can also buy different cams to change the stroke or throw of your machine, like my Injector Flight Nano Elite, for example. I changed the original cam, it came with the 3.25 millimeter cam to a 2.5 millimeter cam for a shorter stroke in the hope for super soft, smooth shading. And what I found was, although it was the shortest possible cam I could have got for the machine, I thought sometimes it was quite hard to get ink into the skin because of just how soft it hit. And I found myself doing a lot more passes over the same area to get the ink in, and my work wasn't healing as nice as it used to. So without doing a lot of multiple passes back over the same area, again, resulting in overworking the skin, I found sometimes maybe it doesn't work out that the shorter the stroke of the machine, the easier it is to shade with because it wasn't in some circumstances. So I bought a four millimeter cam instead for the injector and used it solely as a liner machine because I knew it had a powerful motor to push bigger needle groupings and now it lines like a beast. <laughs> I found by doing this and messing around with different cams is that the longer the stroke length, the better it is for lining with rotary tattoo machines because it packs more of a punch than a normal cam of around 3.5 millimeter or the 2.5 millimeter cam I had bought for it earlier on, um, which was very short. But most rotary machines come with a standard cam of 3.5 millimeters because it is a great stroke that is useful for every area of tattooing and seems to be what is the most popular choice for most companies and artists. Um, a lot of the big, big artists do use the 3.5 millimeter cams. It's also a very good starting point for anyone trying out rotary tattoo machines for the first time because you can line and shade comfortably with a 3.5 millimeter stroke cam. I found that the longer the stroke length, the more aggressively it hit the skin, uh, resulting in more trauma and a chance my tattoo might not heal as well as I would have liked when I was lining with the 4 millimeter. So please be careful if you do choose to change your cam. I would only go for a cam longer than 4 millimeter stroke for advanced artists really, unless you are a serious rotary user and specifically know the difference of a stroke longer than four millimeters and, and, and want that. A final suggestion, if you want one machine for lining only, I strongly recommend that you choose a cam uh, with a machine over four millimeters. As long as you know what you're doing, like 
you know the like the right depths etc but now getting on to the shading side of things 3.5 millimeter cam is a very good starting point for anyone looking to shade with a rotary tattoo machine uh, that's what i like to use uh, 2.5 millimeter cam for shading it's very soft sometimes too soft like i said earlier that i feel ink doesn't go into the skin as easy as a standard cam of 3.5 millimeters so after some trial and error I now use my Spectre Edge X with a standard cam of 3.5mm to shade with because it's best for me and how I tattoo. The 2.5mm cam would be good for doing small details uh, with small with smaller needle groupings um, although what's good about the Spectre Edge X machine is that I have got the option there to change the stroke. The cam can be changed to 2.8mm or longer stroke of uh, 4.25 millimeters, but I found shading with a 3.5 millimeter stroke on the cam a great all rounder for different techniques of shading to really achieve some great smooth transitions and gradients. Um, it also packs in color and blacks in really well too. And now I'm not being endorsed uh, to say anything in this video from brands. I'm, I'm merely keeping it 100 and just telling you all exactly what I like to use. Anyway guys, that concludes this video. Please let me know in the comment section below what stroke you prefer to use for shading and lining. I'd be interested to know and what you all use to tattoo with. Uh, anyway guys, please subscribe, please hit that like button and I hope you're all staying safe. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys.